What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today we're checking back in on This Merchant Life, a game that's had a lot of development since the last time that I played it. It's a game where you move product around. And if you're anything like me, I'm a big like market player. When I play like MMOs, I flip on markets a lot. Like I ran the entire auction house on my World of Warcraft server back in the old days. I ran a cartel that basically created like embargoes and stuff like that in order to make a lot of money. And so it's something that appeals to me. And so I've always liked games like this. So let's start it on off. Start me up, once you start me up, then Ollie's here. My cat's in the room right now. We've got a campaign. We've got a vague and unhelpful message eventually results in our merchant becoming embroiled in a deadly conspiracy that threatens the kingdom of Peregrine. Okay, your father has vanished and left you with his debts. Meeting the growing monthly payments. Oof. Select the difficulty? Yeah, that's fine. We'll put it on standard. Oh, we get to pick what we look like now. We didn't get to pick that before. That's pretty sweet. Nice, dude. Cool. All right. What kind of torsos can we have? Oh, we can have a long coat? Yeah, let's have a long coat. Let's do that. I'm kind of feeling that right there. We're going to be the man in black. That's what we're going to do. I can have a wizard hat. Oh, I can have a rice paddy hat. We're going to have a rice paddy hat. Rice paddy hats are what's up. Oh, we can also have different, like, objects. Oh, a pimp cane. That's what we need right there. We need a pimp cane. Yup. We're going to call him, I don't know. We're going to, we're just going to name him Kane. Actually, we'll, we'll make it funnier. There we go. We'll make it slightly more punny. Perfect. We have Armand and Cloppy. Nope. We're going to have Hoppahoof. He'll disappear and nobody will know what happened to him. And then, let's see here. I know it's a Jimmy Hoffa joke. You, most of you are probably not old enough for that. Anyways, we'll also have, what's this guy going to be? We'll name him, oh, I don't know. We'll name this one Flicky Tail. Perfect. Flicky Tail and Hoppahoof. Nice. All right, so select our background. We can be a fighter. We get bonuses to combat. We can be a sailor. Major boost to cart capacity, reduce penalties from cart damage, extra deployment time in battle. We can be stable hand, who's fast, which means we travel very, very quickly. We can be a scholar, so we have a better ability to avoid and flee combat, and we get more XP. We've got industrious as well. Better crafting and reduced building costs. Intuitive, useful mark of events, last longer, specialist. I'm going to go with sailor. That sounds good. The world map. Welcome. Right now, you have 2,000 coins in a trade cart that is at Woodford. Use the arrow keys or was to move the camera around. Left click the town you're in, then the hub button to access the town options. Left clicking any direct town in your current believes up to you. Okay, so you have to have a trade permit. Right now, you have permits to travel anywhere in the forest in the heartlands. That includes the capital at Archon. Right mouse click any settlement to get general details on it. All right, so we've got Woodford over here. Buy low, sell high. Seems easy enough. Dangerous times in Pergrin, though. Bandits and worse on the roads. We'll need guards to protect us. Gain a reputation in towns, make some friends, allies, learn my way around, pay off that starter loan. Anyways, let's get started. I'll buy some things cheap from the market here, then we'll travel to the neighboring town. Yeah, let's, let's keep the horse puns to a minimum. I feel like we're already doing that. So we can explore? Yeah, let's go ahead and explore. Woodford is where it all started. You drifted aimlessly after coming back to your homeland and found yourself working in Woodford as a wood splitter, swinging a rand axe to chop timber into variously sized pieces. A merchant came through town and you ended up saving his life in the forests. He promised you a trade caravan for saving him, waiting for you in Randos. You took your savings, grabbed your pack, and walked to Randos, and that's how it all started. All right, let's go ahead and uh, split some timber. All right, we got plus one determination. I don't know what that means, but hey, maybe it's helpful. We have the market over here. So we have timber cost is 20. The average ale cost is 60, and we can buy 54 over here. Yeah, go ahead and buy that all off, I guess. And then wood costs. I don't know if wood costs are going to be that great. We have 10 wood right now, though, so, like, maybe that'll be good. Everything else seems to be priced pretty... Oh, really? Yeah, let's buy some herbs then. Yup, we're buying weed right now. Let's buy a bunch of weed. Our cart is full and it's time for us to go elsewhere. Let's go to Randos. Clip clop, clip clop, clip clop. Off we go. Alright, so we can explore Randos or we can just go to the market. This place is selling at 63 right now. Oh man. Lame. I was hoping we could make some money over here. What about common items? How are we doing over here? So for ale, we can make 60 off these. Yeah, sell them all. Perfect. We made a little bit of money off those. Not a lot, but we made a little bit. Hides are actually at a really good price right now, so I suppose we'll buy those. I'm going to sell off all my wood real fast so that I can afford more hides. Oh, wait. I didn't want to do that. Damn it. Okay, so we'll buy all the hides over here because they're way underpriced. 
Common items wise, I think we're still good. I'm gonna sell that off because I see opportunities right now at these hides. Yeah, buy a bunch of leather and then we'll see where we can take that to. Above average prices. It looks like... Leather... Hmm... I don't know. Go back to Woodford real fast. Can I sell the leather here? They don't even have leather here, so I would assume that I can make a bunch of money. Uh, it sells for 40 here. Yup. And that's how we make our living, y'all. We just made like 15 off each of those, and we sold like 20 of them. Yup, that's exactly what I'm looking for. They got 80 right there. Herbs are super expensive out here right now. Uh, can I buy herbs over here? Are herbs cheap? Yeah, let's go here. We'll buy the herbs, and we'll bring them back and sell them. Alright, so let's buy some herbs. Sounds good. What else do you have that's below market price? Hides are still really, really good to go. So I'm going to buy the hides. And then we're going to go back over this way to Woodford. Let's see here. Run in with Rafik. It's Rafik. Somehow it feels as though it's always Rafik. He certainly does cover the miles, you admit, as you seem to pass him with greater regularity on these roads than anybody else. More's the pity. He waves with the most unfeigned of enthusiasm. You are like a sight of land for a sailor long among the waves. Uh, let's discuss. You chat for, with Rafik for some time while your respective caravans mingle and generally barely earned rest. Beneath the bluster, he does seem to think quite deeply about what he does and how to do it better, although also evidently thinks he is destined for merchantly greatness. You are the one who wields the scythe only in the harvest, he says warmly, bafflingly. If you're going to communicate mainly through smile and metaphor, you really ought to work on it, you tell him, and he laughs generously. Got some charm right there. We're a little bit more charming than we were before. All right, so in the market, we can sell all of these here. And that's going to make us a hot fortune right there because we just supplied a need. And then with the leathers, eh, we'll hold on to the leathers for right now. The leathers are, I'm going to buy like one or two over here. I'm not going to try and go straight ham bone on them, but I'll buy a little bit. And then let's go to Atten. What else can I do inside? I can go to the tailor. Oh, I can change my clothing around. We've got Missions Find in Oxtown, Serenity, or Archon. We've also got an Escort, a letter to Oxtown. Okay, I can take that mission. As far as our cart goes, we've got upgrades that we can work on. I can repair it for 121. Probably a good idea to make sure our HP is nice and solid. We've got wheels level 1. We've got a bunch of upgrades that we can do over here. Okay. Alright. Where is my... So a heat wave. What does a heat wave do? The cart capacity slows cart more easily. Okay. Let's go to our skills real fast. So in our skills sidebar, we can unlock new things. We can go with expedience. We can go with heroism. We can go to recruitment. I kind of want to hire some people. I'll be honest with you. I'm going to go with Tavern Trawler real fast so I can protect myself. I will go to the... Oh, it unlocks at level 2. A frail-looking old woman in rags approaches you on the street and asks for alms for the poor. All right. So I got compassion and reputation. How does my profile work? So bravery is average. Culture is average. Compassion is average. Charm is average. Okay, so these are like traits. And I assume they give us more options as time goes along. We need to go to Oxford. Which is like... Oh, Oxtown, which is way down there. Alright, we'll go to Randos first. A red bard approaches the caravan as it passes near the village. He stands out against the landscape like a glowing sigil on stone, his blood-red tunic catching the light. He would like to transport to your next destination he's ha willing to pay handsomely. There are those among your caravan who are not very fond of red bards and their sonorous booming rhetoric. They are certainly divisive figures, and some would argue they sow more division. Yeah, sure, why not? I like money. Despite the misgivings of some among the caravan, you could use the coin. Plus, he just wants to go to your next destination, so you won't need to make any diversions. He's happy to pay up front rather than on arrival. You are wary of the man all the same. If he takes a disliking to you or something you say, you might find yourself being the subject of body songs in taverns across Peregrine, and not the good kind of body songs. He largely keeps to himself, sat in the back of the cart, working on his notes. Apparently he'd been interviewing some villagers about a crime that had been committed there. There's definitely grumbling meant for your ears, but eh, your coin purse does feel heavier. All right, off to Randos. The trainee hunter. A deer flashes across the road not far ahead of the caravan, quickly followed by a whistling arrow, which apparently misses its mark, pinging off of a rock instead. Not long after this, the arrow is tailed by its inaccurate originator, a young hunter. He notices the caravan, turns and bows, then walks over. Yeah, hire him. The trainee hunter. The lad is clearly not the best shot in the world, but he has a lot of enthusiasm for the concept of shooting arrows at things and is often half the battle with an archer. 
He doesn't really want to stray too far from home, but he's happy to stay with the caravan for a few trips before heading back. You hire him, happy to add another fighter to the caravan. Nice, okay. So we brought this guy over to here. We can explore Randos. Let's do it. Banners, signs, and graffiti have started to go up in Randos. Uh, let's see. Becoming mayor is traditionally seen as a stepping stone towards eventually standing yourself to become one of the two rulers of Peregrine. Of course, someone such as yourself, barely above a commoner, cannot stand, but you can back a candidate. Let's not, uh, do it right now. Well, we'll go with Warwick. That's fine. You register as a support for Marl. You're gonna need to get fairly involved for him if you feel like you contributed enough to the campaign to actually want him to do any favors. Oh, okay. Makes sense. Do we have anything going anywhere else? We got something going to Arrow, which is on the way, so we should probably pick that up. Yeah, we'll take that. In the markets, it looks like our prices are not great. However, this is an opportunity to buy a few more leathers, I guess. Wow, that price is amazing. How much wool do they have? Nine? Yeah, buy some of the wool. We can unload that. I'm sorry, I'm losing money right now, but I don't even care. There we go, because that price is so good that we can't walk away from it. 90 is really, really great. Uh, let's go to Archon, I guess. I probably should have gotten some guards, but... I don't know. We can't go into the tavern yet, so... Rafik's Wager. After you spend long enough on the road, you start to feel as though every caravan, every cart, and every wagon has its own distinct, audible signature. It might be utter nonsense, but you do hear Rafik's caravan approaching before you see it. And somehow, you're pretty sure that it's going to be him coming over the horizon. Duly he does, and he seems to know you as he gets up and waves from the front of his cart. Your caravan and his come to a half alongside each other, going opposite directions. Hey, Ali shouts as a greeting. It's a pleasure to see you once again, my fellow master of trade. We're like two legendary heroes meeting on the battlefield in some ancient, long-forgotten war. We're rivals, but also friends, and we can respect each other even as we duel. He challenges you and your cart to a race. Half a mile back, he passed an old stone building that will serve as the finish line. Do it. Yeah, buddy. Clearly, he is confident in his victory. His cart sets off at a blistering pace, but yours is simply faster. You glide past and reach the old stone building long before him. He's surprisingly magnanimous at defeat and happily hands over the coins. Next time, he says the result will be different. All right. Sounds good. Oh, I might have leveled up. I should probably hire a warrior to protect us. A tough warrior named Rolden. Yeah, that sounds good. Let's put a warrior in here real fast. Yeah, we'll pay a couple of these guys over here. We've got a monk. Doesn't look like he's super good at fighting. But he's as good as everybody else that we have, so... Yeah, let's... Let's let's invest in our security. How about that? We've got peasants to Oxtown and a crate to Oxtown. Oh, I guess I can't do that yet. Alright, off we go to Arrow then. That's where my first mission is. Bandits. Desperation breeds crime and disorder and banditry, and these are truly desperate times for money. It's harder to feel sympathy for people when they have swords leveled at you, though. Alright. Action! You take time to take out the trash, I guess. This is the deployment phase. Alright, so my general idea is that the enemy is coming from this side. Alright, for each direction, the attack power of the defenders and attackers are both totaled. Each round of dice total is added to the scores. Oh, will I not deploy anybody? Apparently I got an injury. I don't know. It didn't deploy my guys. I did it wrong. I did it wrong, everybody, and I've got to figure out why I did it wrong. Uh, let's go ahead and buy the rest of those if we can so that we can make some money somewhere else. Grain is kind of cheap right now, but I'm not very worried about it. So missions-wise, we can collect peasants at Serenity, then bring them back here. Wolves on the road to Archon. Does the mission just, like, auto-finish when we go to these locations? A storm hits. We're caught up in a storm. Yeah, run for cover. We got calm, apparently. Nice. You found something. Goods lying in the road is obviously suspicious, but the wheel pharaohs make it look like they were dumped by a cart. Yeah, finders keepers, man. We gained two grain. Sounds good. In the market here, I think I can unload a lot of this stuff for a decent go. That's what I'm going to do. I need the money. I'm a little bit broke right now. 
We'll sell off some of our wood. Got some leathers over here. There you go. I'm trying to get my cash back up. I'm a little broke right now. I need help. I need help. I need somebody. Help. Just anybody. Food appears to be kind of cheap. It's a low margin item, but we can pick it up. We can explore or we can keep on moving. We have an upgrade point right now, which might not be a bad idea. Lower, higher costs. We got purchasing. 25% more goods available. Also got smarts. We got caravan capacity. Plus one speed. Yeah, let's go with plus one speed. That sounds good. I will pay you guys with the profits, and then off we go to Arrow. Hopefully we can get some money to sell some food around here somewhere. So food is at an average price right here. That means I'm going to sell it all off in bulk. Common-wise, we've got some things, but not really. Hides are at a premium. What was up with the uh, lower than average? Yeah, go back to Oxtown. We're going to try and sell these hides real quick. I don't know how much time we have, but in the market, we can buy hides over here. And we'll take these back to Arrow. Yeah, there we go. Now we're making some moolah. Now we're getting a little bit of that scratch. I can pay him for another section, too. Uh, do we have any missions over here? Challenge, take peasants to Archon, a letter to Archon. All right, where's Archon? It's just over here. All right, let's travel. Nice little grip of cash. So do my missions finish off just when I arrive? It looks like they do, and I just get paid. But we can get Cade, who is a sword for hire. We can get Tanner, who's a guardsman. I'm kind of—I've got enough guards right now, so I don't know if I need more guards. I feel like I'm in good shape on the guards front. What are we doing for money right now? Wood is at a high price. Grapes are at a really good price. Damn. Yeah, buy up all those. Take them all. Do we have any place that has a higher average price on grapes? Alright, let's go to Atten. We'll go to Serenity first. I'm not trying to get attacked right now, but... We'll go to Serenity. They say that if you learn from mistakes, I think that's a healthy way of looking back on the flaming wreckage of a disaster that's my merchant life thus far. When I sleep, I can feel the interest on the deck growing in my dreams. It's characterized as a dark mass growing overhead, eager to devour the world. So what I've divined from my new heightened understanding of trade is that I should probably try to make a bit of money so I can pay this debt off before it consumes me utterly. Turns out that coins are really important when you're a merchant. So I need 6,000 gold. The prices are still alright over here. I'm full up though, so I can't really do much. Uh, let's continue going to Atten, I guess. Collision. It's a rather treacherous stretch of road, more in terms of the poor state of the road itself than any other prevalence of bandits or environs. Merchant cart comes up behind yours and rather unusually immediately overtakes before speeding away. Unfortunately, at the end of the bend, it's going way too fast, loses a little control, and collides with another trade cart. Let's see, no one's hurt and the damage to the cards is surprisingly light. The two merchants are facing off angrily and it looks like somebody's going to get hurt. Play the peacemaker. Good. As merchants, we are bonded. We got some calm right there. Nice. Alright, let's fight some bandits. I gotta figure out how this whole, like, combat thing works. Yeah, put my, put my dudes in here. I gotta hit the assign thing. There we go. Perfect. Battle! Well, apparently the fight went well. We've got nine versus their three. We won on that side, too. Yeah, keep wiping them out, man. Those bandits didn't have a chance against us. Nice, dude. I'll take that victory. I'll take the... Ooh, yeah, we're making money over here. Sell it all. I'm trying to get paid. What else we got going on? Lumber is really, really expensive here. Lumber is, like, crazy expensive. This place must have some kind of, like, thing going on. Uh, we can escort a letter to Serenity. There's bandits on the road to Randos. So we'll take that. See if we can wipe them out real quick. Let me take a look at my security here. I'm going to try to pay everybody's paycheck real fast. It is costing us a lot of money, though. Where is Randos? Over here? All right. Let's go to Randos. No! I wanted him over there. 
There we go. Sign that dude right there. It's only two of them. We got this. We got this. No problem. We're going to wipe them out. And we got a little bit of ale, too. And I think we probably completed our mission right there, right? Yep. Apparently, I am enemies with the Vanguard of Change. You'd think that I'd be on good terms with Change since I'm a merchant, but, you know. Sell some of that stuff. We got some hides over here. Looks like grapes are at an okay cost. I think hides have the best margin. I don't know if I can get back over there with the wood. I can try. Oh, I got more bandits. Apparently, we're our banditoing. All right, let's put you over there, and we'll put you two over here. And hopefully, it's good enough. We got them outclassed on both sides, so our dice rolls should go in our favor. No! We missed it by one hour! Lame. Super lame. Buy all the food, though. That sounds good to me. Buy all the food, and we'll see if we can find a place where food is above average price. Serenity, apparently. Let's go. Wild things. You can probably smell the blood. You see a bank in the wild. Cunning eyes approach you, and you know they're sneaking up behind. You had your chance, Wolfie. It's time to fight. It's time to do this thing. I don't run. That's not what Splatty do. Splatty's not about that run in life. Nah, not at all. We fight. We fight for our right to kill wolves. Huh, Ollie? Ollie's on my lap right now, and he does not like doggies. He's not down with doggies. Sell all that right there and get us paid. We got ridiculously good prices on that. Uh, let's go ahead and I'm going to look at my cart real fast. I think my cart's probably busted up. Let's go to the hub. My cart is... Yeah, it needs repair pretty badly. We'll go ahead and fix that on up. There's no parts available. I'm going to upgrade my wheels a little bit. There we go. Make the wheels look a little bit hotter. Make the wheels look a little bit hotter in the spot. I'm going to buy all that. We need to find a place where prices are super, but I think Mandrago is where we want to go. Uh, let's see here. Normally, a patrol of soldiers would be a reassuring sight, but in these uncertain times, you're never quite sure who can be trusted. You try to read the expressions, but they give nothing away. We'll give them some money. Some might call it a bribe, but other people would say to refer to it as such a... Yeah, exactly. we got to make sure we don't get owned. These soldiers are the good kind, and they don't fleece you. Good. I love not being fleeced. Three especially grubby-looking bandits are lined along the road at a narrow intersection at the top of a rise. You slow down, realizing the terrain will not allow you to rush past. Uh, play them off each other? You try to sow discord, but they're united. All right, well, we'll fight them then. I don't really care. Put the tough warrior over there. I hope I pick right. If I don't pick right, this is going to suck. Oh. Hey, our tough warrior won. Nice. Hell yeah. Good. We've made it on over here. The prices are still good on this side, but we're maxed out. The cart, we don't need any repairs right now with our security. How are we looking on people's... Yeah, we'll go ahead and pay them. I'll pay them even more once we go make money in the next town over. I think we needed to go to Mandrigo. So above average prices in Mandrigo on... Hold on. Yeah, above average prices on some of the stuff that we're trying to sell right now. In the distance, you spy what appears to be a walking pile of armor heading towards you on the road. As it moves closer, you realize this isn't a junk golem, but a man carrying a huge armful of loose armor weapons and equipment. Group bandits did not know who they were messing with. How much for the whole lot? You want a job? The man doesn't look like much. A wraith wrapped in a cloak. Young face half covered with a bandana. Still, judging by the pile of armor, he seems to have handled a half dozen heavily armed bandits. He raises an eyebrow and considers it. He declines saying that he has some other work at the moment, but if you run into him at a tavern in the future, he'd love to join you. His name is Jackknife. Okay. Yup, and that's how we pay ourselves. Go ahead and pay wages now that we had a payday. We're not really making a whole lot of money right now, but, you know, we're moving along. Got any missions here? I need to make some money, otherwise we're not going to be able to combat on the wolves to Atten. I'll take that. Peasants to Atten. I'll take both of those. Alright, off we go. Easy excuse to make a little money. That's a lot of wolves.
Good. Looks solid to me. Alright, so here in Atten, we've done all of our missions. We've got lots of stuff going to Serenity right now. I'll take both those missions that are going to Serenity. The food costs are very, very good here right now. So... Food is above average in Serenity where we're going anyway, so we might get ourselves a lovely little double whammy on this side. There we go. Little double whammy on that cash stack. That's what I'm talking about. Let's upgrade the card a little bit. I mean, oh, I got two upgrade points. Nice. Okay. Let's go with heroism. I guess I'll go with piled high so that I can carry more stuff with me. Seems like an okay plan. The wood seems pretty light out here. If we can find a place that's having trouble with their wood, giggity giggity goo, we might be able to get paid. Let's go to Archon. Did I take missions? I was going to say. Wild animals are on us. Alright, we'll fight the wolves. I'm okay with that. Put them up here. Sign all three. Should be able to wipe this real fast. We've got really good attack power right now. There's something to be said about hiring good guards that can protect you. Oh, we've got even more wolves. All right. Assign you down there, and you there. Nah, I guessed wrong. It's okay, though. We got them beat. To Archon we go. As you're painfully aware, merchants are a prized target on the roads. The caravan seems to be on the wrong end of things. The guards are scattered and outnumbered. You can take the opportunity to get past and far away while they're engaged, or jump in. We gotta help out, dude. We gotta help the homies. You can't just, like, walk away when the homies need help, man. That ain't right. Wait, where'd all my money go? Did I lose a bunch of money? I think I lost a bunch of money, guys. I think we got robbed of all of our gold. I think we got choked out. I have so many coins now. Oh, no, it paid my debt. That's what it was. I own 6,000. I'm a business genius. I'll take that. Fantastic. Well, at least I'm out from under that debt, which has been crushing my spirit from the moment I took the coin. Now I can focus on becoming a business success story. Hey, I'm a note sayer, and I've been tasked with giving you a message. Message, huh? That's right. We can retain several hundred messages at once, then deliver them to you in person. We can even do it the voice of the client who gave us the message. That sounds, uh, yeah, it costs extra. Anyways, hang on. No, uh, who was it? What was the name again? All right. The message was, uh, it's fine. All the messages are filed away in a hyper-organized library of my memory, with row upon row of metaphorical shells reaching up to the vaulted rooftop of my mind. My mind, the greatest repository for information across the seven planes. Got it. All right. Find me in the heartlands at the statue that soars. The statue that what? You can send me the repeat that, find that, uh, talk about vague. This great falcon statue in the Lancer, the wing keeper of knowledge in Oxtown, or that strange floating statue in Arrow. I concur that it wasn't a very good message. Can you at least tell me who sent it? Sorry, that costs extra. All right, well, we're out of time for the day, so my name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you all later. This game is called This Merchant Life. I hope you enjoyed it. Hi, do. Take care, and bye-bye, everybody.